I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Monday morning, the 22nd of April, 2024. And this is your friend, Angus Bucket, with a thought for the day. We go straight to the book of Revelation, chapter 3 and verse 10. Because you have kept my command to persevere, I also will keep you from the hour of trial which shall come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth. We have to remain steadfast. We have to be immovable, just like the rock of Gibraltar. We must not give up. We cannot afford to blow hot and then to blow cold. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9. If we do not grow weary in doing good, that rebellious child, that exam that you are struggling with, that relationship, do not quit. That's the one thing that farming has taught me never to give up. Keep persevering with that crop of corn that is giving you so much trouble. That sick animal, keep on persevering. It will come through because Jesus will see us through. I want to ask you a question. Have you ever watched that little dung beetle? They call it a scarab beetle. Have you ever sat and watched him? He is a most incredible little creature. (laughs) They say that he is the most powerful insect in the world. You know, the ancient Egyptians revered that little dung beetle so much that even carved him on stones in the pyramids. He is a representative of eternal life to them. Now listen to this. 1,141 times its own body weight it can move. It's the equivalent of a human dragging six double-decker buses along the road. (laughs) Oh, my dear friend, we must not quit. We must persevere like that little dung beetle. Going across the road. Have you noticed that? He's going one way and he is not giving up for anybody. Respect him and let him teach you something about perseverance. Jesus Christ created that dung beetle. And by the way, he created you and I. And he created us not to give up, but to get to our destination. The Lord will help us. Jesus bless you and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.